Welcome to Amazing Talk. So at this very moment, the Cleveland Cavaliers' best player is probably Kevin Love. And it just so happens that at this very moment, the Cleveland Cavaliers' most tradable player is also Kevin Love. As soon as LeBron James left the Cavaliers for the Lakers, I thought it was like guaranteed Kevin Love was going to be shipped out eventually. In the weeks after the decision, there were reports coming out that the Cavaliers were not necessarily guaranteed to trade Kevin Love. And then more recently, there were more reports coming out saying that Kevin Love might not even want to be traded away from the Cavaliers. I'll be honest, I do not see any point really in keeping Kevin Love. In this season, the Cavaliers are most likely not going to be that good, and that's not really a bad thing. Keeping Kevin Love isn't really going to change much. Like, I just don't really see the appeal in keeping a 30-year-old Kevin Love at this very moment. Like, does keeping Kevin Love make the Cavaliers a contender? No. And if you think it does, you're not right. <laughs> Could the Cavaliers make the playoffs with Kevin Love? Possibly. I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. I mean, like, if you look at the Utah Jazz, last year Gordon Hayward left them, and everybody just assumed they would be tanking. And then Donovan Mitchell was really good. They went to the playoffs. They made it to round two. So if Colin Sexton comes out and ends up being, like, you know, a close to 20 point per game rookie, then maybe the Cavs could make the playoffs. But I would much rather be a top 10 seed in the draft than an 8 seed if I'm going to be completely honest right now. Theoretically speaking, the Cavaliers could make the playoffs if they kept Kevin Love, but I think the more likely thing to happen is they just missed the playoffs, they're kind of in like the middle ground, they don't get a top 10 draft pick, and then as a result of that, they don't get a first round draft pick at all this year. The Cavaliers 2019 first round pick is top 10 protected, and if it's not in the top 10, it goes to the Atlanta Hawks. And if I'm being completely honest, we're rebuilding right now, and I don't even really want to risk losing that first round pick by keeping Kevin Love. And to go along with that, keeping Kevin Love could possibly hurt the development of some of our young players like Colin Sexton or Billy Preston. Having Kevin Love in the rotation is kind of like a double-edged sword because, I mean, it, it could help the Cavs, it could help our young players, like, it could help Colin Sexton learn to play with other superstars, but then on the other side, it could also, like, you know, we could start forcing the ball to Kevin Love and taking opportunities away from the young players who probably need them more at this point. I love Kevin Kevin Love. He's one of my favorite players of all time. He's one of the greatest Cleveland Cavaliers players of all time. But at this very moment in Cavaliers franchise history, we don't need Kevin Love. The Cavaliers need to move on from the LeBron era and move into the new rebuilding era. Don't slow it down by keeping Kevin Love. Just, you know, Take the tank, <laughs> accept the fact that you're probably going to be bad for two years, but like that's okay as long as you get good eventually. I just don't think there's any reason really for the Cavaliers to keep Kevin Love. But I mean, maybe they should. Let me know in the comments, do you think the Cavs should keep Kevin Love or should they trade him? And if they keep him, do you think they could make the playoffs? Thanks for watching Mason Talks. Make sure you leave a like on this video and make sure you subscribe to Mason Talks for more sports videos and I will see you in my next video. Goodbye.